So you have a Element Roku TV and you have an issue with the sound not working. Maybe the audio is delayed. Maybe it is echoing. Maybe is it is out of sync. Or perhaps like it just has like a funny audio. Like it sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks is speaking. I'm going to give you guys six solutions. And by the end of this video, I'm going to say at least 90% of you guys should be up and running. Okay. So first step is this. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to restart the TV using a special key combination on the remote. Okay. And pay attention here. It has to be the Roku remote. If you have a universal remote, it's not going to work, but you can always buy these replacement Roku TV remotes for like under $10 or 10, about $10 on Amazon. Anyway, this is the key combination. Okay. With the TV on, what we want to do is the home button is right here. So we want to tap the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then up once and then rewind twice fast forward twice okay home button five times one two three four five up once rewind twice fast forward twice let's do it together ready home button ready oh yeah and, and by the way it has to be continuous you can't pause too long okay so let's do this together ready home button five times ready one two three four five up button once rewind twice Fast forward twice. Now, look at the TV and it's acting all funny here. What's gonna happen here is this whole process, it's basically gonna turn it off, TV, turn it back on, turn off, turn on. It's gonna reboot like two times. And this whole process takes about like one minute or maybe one or two minutes. So go ahead and let this like play out. And then once your uh, TV is back booted up, then go ahead and see if your sound is working properly, okay? If it's not, we're gonna to go to the next step here. So the TV just turned off here. And now it's turning back on. It has a Roku logo. And it'll sit here for like another like 15 or 20 seconds. And it's going to go ahead and restart again. Okay. Anyway, once it's booted up, see if your sound's working. If it's not working, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go wherever your um, TV is plugged into. And while the TV is on, what I want you to do is unplug it for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I want you to plug it back in and then start up your TV and see if it's working. Okay. Now you can see that first process, now it's getting ready to boot up like normally. But anyway, even if uh, the first step didn't work, the second step, the pull and the plug with 30 seconds, putting it back in, that didn't work, then we're gonna go to the third step here. So the third step is we're gonna see if you have a software update, okay? So just go ahead and click on the home button and then you wanna go down to settings. So let's go down to settings and then you wanna move over to the right, so move over to the right. And then we wanna move down to where it says system right here system now we want to move over to the right then we want to go down to where it says system update right here so go ahead and click on that see uh, check to see if you have an update if you have an update go ahead and uh, download and install it after it's done with the update go ahead and see if your sound is working okay uh, mine's like up to date anyway if yours is up to date then we'll just have to skip to um, the step number uh, four so if you did uh, install the update and it didn't work, we're also gonna to move to step number four. Okay, so next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna go ahead and reset your audio. So we're gonna go back into setting here, settings, and we're gonna to move to the right. And then from here, we're gonna go down to system again, go to system, move to the right, and then we're gonna go down. This time we're gonna to go to where it says advanced system settings. Then we're gonna to move to the right, and we're at factory reset. We're gonna move over, go to the right one more time. And right here it says reset, TV audio slash picture settings. So go ahead and proceed with this. You want to press the uh, play pause button three times, which is right here. One, two, three. And then go ahead and tap on OK to OK to proceed with the reset of the audio and picture settings. And then once that's complete, go ahead and see if your uh, audio is working correctly. Your sound is working good. Now, once you reset the TV audio, if it's still not working, the last step I have for you is um, if you just go back, I mean, you know, we just go back to the uh, settings and remember to go to advanced system settings. And then the last step is a factory reset. Okay. So go ahead and tap on factory reset. Now, the thing is, don't forget with, I mean, go here and then you want to scroll down one where it says factory reset everything. And basically you're going to be factory and reset everything as if it's going to erase everything on your TV. That's going to be as if you bought the TV brand new and took it out of the box and you have to go through the setup. You know, you got to put in your language, your region, you got to hook up your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi password, and so on. If you want to proceed with the factory reset, 
you have to look down here it says you have a special code okay mine says please enter 5258 to reset everything your code's going to be different put in those codes and let it do the factory reset and then uh once your tv's uh, back up and running then you got to do the whole setup process and then check to see if your sound is up and uh, up and running uh, properly uh like i said most of you guys should be up and running uh, if you've done all these steps let me know which step worked for you guys or which step you think worked for you. Sometimes it's like a combination of like two things that you do to actually get the sound working uh, back properly. Anyway, any questions or issues, just comment below. All right. Good luck, guys.